Cisco Firepower and HashiCorp's Terraform series, Infrastructure as Code, focusing on day zero and day one deployments. NAT policy and auto NAT rules. Let's get started. Let's jump over to DevNet, it's GitHub repository for Firepower. We're gonna look at the auto NAT rules. And you can see here, we've got some data references from Firepower around objects and interfaces. We create the policy, the NAT policy, and then we add our rules. The first one's a static auto NAT policy that does some port translation. The next one after that is a dynamic auto NAT policy that does uh, a PAT using a pool. And then we've got interface PAT on the final one. Again, dynamic auto NAT policy. And then some output. Now let's use that information and let's create a policy that's fitting for our environment. So let's look at the var.tf, there's our variables. Again, terraform.tf vars is the data supporting the variables. And we'll go ahead and look at main.tf. Now we've got our providers, our FMC connection details. We're pulling a couple of security zones and then we're creating a couple of objects here. We've got some output, we create our NAT policy and then we create our specific rules. So we got DMZ to outside and we've got a object group that we're gonna use and we're gonna use interface pat. And then we've got another one here that's a st static auto NAT policy, DMZ to outside. And again, it's um, gonna use an object, um, an internal uh, IP translated to an external IP address, specific IP address that is. All right, so let's go ahead. We run the initialization. We're gonna go ahead and hit the apply. Here, there's the details. We have an opportunity to review this. In this case, we're just gonna go ahead and hit yes. Now we're starting to see the creation of that. And our objects are being created first. Now we can see here, we've got some completion. Moving along, there's some new rules and bingo, bango, we're done. Let's do a quick refresh. And there it is, policies there, and there's the specifics, right? DMZ to outside, and we've got some uh, objects here, and then we've got our dynamic at the bottom here, where it's taking the DMZ network and, and doing interface path. Okay, so that's great. We didn't assign it to a device. Now, assigning it to a device is exactly what we've done in the access policies. The difference is you're gonna reference the NAT policy, of course. Let's go ahead and destroy everything that we just created. And we can see everything that it's reversing. There it is, deleting the objects or destroying the objects. And it does it in order, as I mentioned many times, Terraform tracks that. And again, you can uh, use some capabilities like depends on to make sure that you're deploying technology in the manner of which you want. We'll quickly do a refresh. And there we go, it's gone.